Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Chair of the Academy, Anne Morrison. Hello, good evening. A very, very warm welcome to the Roundhouse for this year's British Academy Children's Awards. This is the year's biggest celebration of the very best in children's film, television and games and online media, and of course all of you, the brilliant talent behind them. In a minute I'll be introducing the fabulous Doc Brown for the new host of our awards. But before that, can I just say that we are hoping tonight to get a lower rating for this ceremony than the new Paddington Bear movie. So if you could please limit your speeches to innuendo and infrequent bad language, we'd be really grateful. I'm not going to hold my breath on that one. So children's programmes are incredibly important. At their best, they can inspire, amaze, entertain, and open a child's eyes to the world beyond their experience. Children are naturals at all forms of technology, so we're often learning from them about how audiences will behave in the future. And within the media itself, output for children has often been a creative hotbed, generating formats and ideas which have influenced the whole industry. It's as if the playfulness on screen gets into the minds of the whole production team and makes all things possible. At BAFTA, we are proud to support this important work. As a charity, we run hundreds of events every year, including many for kids. We want to inspire the next generation from the most diverse backgrounds who might one day follow in all of your footsteps and enter the industry. We had a BAFTA Kids event here earlier today. Children were able to learn about TV presenting, stop frame animation with Postman Pat and Jess, and the making of Wolf Blood. We've also got the BAFTA Young Game Designers Scheme, encouraging boys and girls to turn their game ideas into reality. Thank you to everyone who supports this work and much, much more through our Give Something Back initiative. Find out how you can become involved with it on our website. So big thanks to Doc Brown, tonight's host, to all our citation readers, and to the BAFTA Children's Committee, ably chaired by Harvey Elliott. A special mention to Joe Godwin, who's stepping down from the committee. <laughs> Joe has been a great supporter of BAFTA over the years, and he's now taking on my old role as director of the BBC Academy, so our lives are moving strangely in parallel. And um, thanks to the BAFTA staff, uh, Amanda Berry and Kevin Price, Claire Brown and Siobhan Pridgen, and tonight's producer, Mark Baker. We couldn't do all of this without our partners, of course, and in particular, Fun Kids Radio, Monsoon, Toon Boom and Bananagrams. Now, some of you will have had your photograph taken when you came in by a BAFTA photographer. And if you win an award tonight, you definitely will. Um, if you'd like to have a look at those photos and maybe order one for yourself, then uh, have a look at the BAFTA Prince flyer, which we're giving out, or look for the link on our website. And any profit that we make on those sales goes directly to our charitable activity. So please do, do go and take a look. Now, before I leave you, some late breaking news. The uh, Rosetta mission, the one that landed a probe on the surface of a comet, has just found signs of life. A dragon, a lot of soup, and some small knitted creatures with whistly voices. Peter Furman, Special Award recipient this evening, you were right. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you.